And that heat could be a big problem for those people that are still without power after the storms earlier this week. At last count right now, a little more than 2,800 people still without power all around the city of Indianapolis. Duke Energy has it down to about 40 people. Murray Mills has the struggles they're all facing. Residents of this west side neighborhood still have a huge mess to clean up, but many are now grateful they at least have power. It's over with. We got it. We got over. We got by. We got through it. Antonio Ferguson was most happy to hear the AC kick in. It came on as IPL brought in more outside crews to help restore power to those still without it. Well, here's my refrigerator. Brenda Gaddy is one of them. She's been relying on a generator to keep her refrigerator going. Recently diagnosed with cancer, she doesn't want to leave home. Her sisters are getting frustrated. Again, this morning, we've called and we've called. The power lines are down. She had a doctor's appointment yesterday. Tomorrow it's going to be really, really hot, and we still don't have any power. We're moving as quickly as possible, but we understand people want their power on, and we're working as hard as we can to be able to get that done. He says the goal is to have everyone back online by midnight Friday. On the city's west side, Mary Mills, Channel 13 Eyewitness News. And you can keep ahead of the changing weather with the SkyTrack 13 weather app. It has a personalized forecast, live Doppler 13 radar, and all the watches and alerts in your area. And you can download it for free on all Apple and Android devices.